selling this holiday season. Is this even a good time of year to be doing either? Here with some of the answers is real estate investor and president of Lifestyles Unlimited, Steve Davis. Thanks for coming in this morning on a holiday weekend. Good to be here, no problem. And let's talk about the numbers because Houston often varies from what's going on nationwide. So how does Houston look right now? Houston looks good and Houston, you're right, is generally, and all of Texas is generally stronger than the rest of the nation when it comes to the real estate market. Uh, Texas will, is and will lead us out of the recession. So buyer's market, seller's market, or perhaps a little bit of both right now? A little bit of both right now. I think if you've got a really good product on the market, in other words, your house is clean and well-maintained and in good shape, yeah, you can, you, you've got a lot of buyers out there. But if your house is not in good shape, you haven't maintained it, you've got a lot of deferred maintenance, those properties are still going at steel deal prices. All right, so that's a little word for investors there, and maybe right. a little bit of advice for people who are looking to sell. There's some competition out there. Yes, absolutely. When it comes to a pre-owned home or a brand new home, who's at the advantage? There are, are brand new houses going like crazy, or is it still a pretty good uh, bet that you'll be able to sell the home you're living in? Oh, I think you're fine selling the home you're living in. Again, it goes back to making sure that your product is nice. If you've abused your home or neglected your home, then you're going to have a problem selling. If you've maintained your home properly and done the right things, you're, you're going to have a, it's okay to sell right now. I still would prefer people to wait. I still think the market is going up, uh, but if you have to sell, you're moving, you've changed jobs or something like that, you're in an okay position to sell now. And when it comes to real estate as an investment, you're an investor and you also spend some of your time teaching people about that process. So a lot of people got into trouble when they went in just trying to flip houses, buy them fast, sell right. them fast. What would you say about uh, the atmosphere for that right now? The first thing you have to understand is that flipping is not investing. And I know that okay. that's a shock to a lot of people. They're well, going, but I saw right. it on TV. They mm -hmm. tell me that's investing. No, that's speculation. Investing is when you buy and hold and you lease it out. We had no problems during the recession. In fact, our income went up on our property during the recession. So if you're an investor, you make money in both the up and down markets. Now, the people who flip, they only make money on the way up. And when you have a dip, they get in trouble. But right now, flipping is okay if you're highly educated and know what you're doing. And we can't talk about this without talking about interest rates. They're incredibly right. low right now. How long do you feel like they will stay around and be a benefit to a person buying? Through 15, 16, right. easily. Because the government has even said they're not going to mess with the interest rates mm -hmm. until 15 or 16. So does that give people a little wiggle room if, not, if now is oh. really not a very good time for them? Oh, yeah. It's, people can... I, I, think that every single person listening to this broadcast should at least, if they've got a mortgage that's 5 6% or higher, they should definitely look into refinancing. And if you're thinking about buying, you're going to see no better time than right now to get yourself a real good price. Steve Davis, thanks for coming in Thank this you. morning. All right, so if you'd like to see the segment again, you can go to our website, abc13.com forward slash info. We'll post a link to the entire interview there later today.